Sure. Uh, before we start, uh, this is Rama Krishna Kupa. I started this company called Algo Framework uh, in 2011 time frame. Before that, I uh, was working for uh, Motorola. And before Motorola, I was working for Mindtree, uh, Mindtree Consulting, working for the products like Adron Ghost, Adron Seven Restore for Semantic. Prior to that, there were some startups, so it's a long journey. 2009, I quit Motorola. Okay. And with the, with the idea to start things on our own, uh, usually clueless on what to do. But because of the experience that I had with uh, enterprise mobility, because I run as part of Motorola's in enterprise mobility go. Having said which, the large scale enterprise system got deployed through Symantec. So with that experience, primarily wanted to do something with enterprise mobility. Wanted to bring down the development time so that the cost of enterprise mobility solution delivery much comes much closer to small and medium businesses. With that as an idea, uh, it all started. It took around two years to streamline an idea, get into a shape, uh, identify what is required, what's not required, productization, scalability, thought process. All these things uh, took a little while. Uh, by 2011, March, uh, technically the ideation uh, is completed. We had enough spring plans being drafted before we start this project as such. The toughest part of Ongo, uh, no, before you know, stepping into the next or second question that you have, uh, what is Ongo as a framework? Uh, Ongo is a rapid enterprise mobility solution delivery framework which reduces development time uh, drastically. Uh, it, it reduces the time so much that for the enterprises, uh, 60 to 90 percent of the development time is reduced. For the SMEs, uh, uh, we can uh, successfully claim that we do a solution delivered in less than 30 minutes of time. So that's uh, the framework is all about. Uh, the, the way we wanted to do that is quite different because if you see today there are so many categories of business around. Uh, as a framework we wanted to be category agnostic. So that is uh, that made Ongo model more complex. So, in yeah, a single liner, uh, Ongo is a machine learning based digital transformation engine okay. for small and medium businesses and also enterprises. See, uh, as of today, it's all mobile. Uh, so, uh, every uh, Every individual do have access to smartphone these days, and so and it is growing drastically uh, with with the uh, advent of uh, latest uh, telecom games coming into this play. Uh, mobile is more accessible to uh, every individual in the globe as of today. So, so as we have access to the mobiles, uh, we need more and more solutions to be delivered on mobiles so every business needs a mobile mobile solution so that they can be accessible for their consumers so app as a medium will continuously grow uh, market is even one to two percent as as on today but there's a huge market potential to grow on the app segment uh, app may not be an installable app can be uh, the way on goes is a solution or an app is a customer experience on mobile. No, no, take any development process, uh, the majority of the cost of development goes in uh, the resource estimates time, uh, time of resources. Uh, that's the major cost. So, uh, if there is a low code platform, if you we reduce the time of coding, the time of development, eventually the cost of product will come down. So, idea is the moment the cost comes down, it gets accessible to the audience. 
Right. When I say my audience, primarily the guys SME players. So enterprise, as on today, even if you see, uh, only very negligible portion of enterprises are adopting to the mobility because of the cost factor. Okay. These low code engines primarily help the cost to come down, thus the adaptability to go up. Also in enterprises, also in SMEs. There are two aspects to it, primarily. Uh, so the, the first thing is uh, the customer experience standpoint. If, if we know about the customer, if we understand about the customer, there is a the better way that we can communicate with them. So an artificial intelligence around your customer behavior uh, comes as a key ingredient for your communication. It might be an app based push notification or it can be a chat bot which comes into play. Whatever it is, understanding about your customer and creating an intelligence around it and communication, communicating around those lines becomes much more important for the business to grow. It's competition, it's one word. So if you are not doing it, your competition would be entering into it. So understanding, the goal is all about understanding the customer. So you, you know, if, uh, if you see the, the earlier old businesses, it was, they used to, they understand about your daily cycle. So for me, more than me knowing what the intern, even my family, uh, requirements are when I say with respect to the groceries, uh, the nearest shop who's serving me from last 20 years knows more than that. That's in artificial intelligence for me. So now, only thing is that guy was able to serve only the 100 families that he's serving from last 20 years. But now, with the advent of technology, uh, with artificial intelligence being used into every sector, uh, the, the customer experience goes up. When the customer goes, experience goes up, uh, the business viability goes up and the scalability comes into factor. See, uh, there are two phases, as I was telling you, there are two phases to it. One is the customer experience standpoint, which is very, very crucial for the businesses to retain the customers. When the, when the business is continuous. Uh, on the other hand, uh, every business has their own life cycle. Correct. Every business has their own standards to communicate. So uh, right from the branding of the business towards the communication methodology, it is very particularly, say for example, if it is a restaurant, it is all about the communication methodologies would be more or less the same. Every business category uh, would have certain ways of communicating to the business. So the second part of artificial intelligence is all about uh, what is required for a business owner. So first is what is required for the customer. Second is what is required for a business owner. If uh, there is a grab on these two with respect to the artificial intelligence, then uh, businesses can sustain these uh, market trends because it's very fast as on today. So businesses can sustain those market trends and keep it motivated and growing. So when I told you like uh, Ongo is all about creating technology and delivering technology to businesses, we, uh, we master that art of delivering because we do have our artificial intelligence uh, powered stuff in the back end so that businesses can get the technology required for them in much faster way and also on the customer experience standpoint uh, we are continuously investing on cognitive behavioral patterns chatbots communication methodologies so that the communication the customer experience part has also been taken care of 
Uh, now, between these two, one thing which we found as a gap is there are digital assets that Ongo is delivering. But utilization of these digital assets and making sure that these digital assets which are there gets utilized well inside the organization at the same time outside the organization. Okay. When I say inside the organization, their employees being using the technology to the customers being you know, for when induced to use it. So both ways, uh, there is a huge gap. It might be starting from a, a, a kind of campaign that needs to be done to promote the app, to promoting the products, offers, services, so on and so forth. And making that assets, digital assets come to use is what Orchestric would be primarily aimed at. So with that, with the acquisition of Orchestric, not only digital assets being delivered now from Ongo, these digital assets uh, would be when we will help these digital assets gets consumed by the business. The hundred percent utilization of these digital assets being delivered from Ongo. So that's the idea of this approach. See what uh, Ongo is all about is again uh, is about identifying and learning from the experiences. So when we build an application, it can be for any category of business. What Ongo as a backend engine will do is keep listening to the business apps. When I say business apps, it would be listening to the customer behavior. At the same time, it will be listening to the employee behavior on these assets and keeps a record of them so what happens with this is ongo eventually is growing its uh, intelligence base by machine learning the customer behaviors and also employee behaviors and these intelligence so when the intelligence is being gathered is being utilized to generate an application for the next guy coming in the category so that's how it